Kraken Race fans, Brian Davis, Brian Davis Races. Today I'm going to check out a different online training solution. This one's called Full Gas. Got it set up. Uh, this is my first little test ride with it. Oh. Okay, so here, it, I think it only comes in your iPad. So that's what it looks like. It's real life footage. Which is kind of cool. I believe they're based in Australia, but they have videos from all over. They had, oh man, race videos, crit videos, road race videos, Grand Fondo videos. So I signed up for the free trial to try that out. I was kind of really missing being outside today, and I, I really thought I'd go out for a ride whatever the weather was but it just beat it beat me today snowing cold gray not a good day to test my limits so we're gonna try full gas what i think i'm gonna do is run swift and this at the same time and then compare the data so this little section here i think this is only like a five minute ride just to see if you can get used to it. Man, it really hammers the hammers the trainer for a 4% grade. This is like it was with Zwift when I first started. It was so intense when I would hit a hill that I just couldn't deal with it. And I went there and messed with the settings, of course. And I think I got it to a place that I like, but uh, full gas is clamping down hard. So, like, I try to think, like, well, what does a 4% grade feel like? But all right, I hooked it up to Strava. I hooked it up to Training Peaks. So we're we're gonna give it a good go. Let's see what happens. I don't know how much it is. I'll have to look that up um, after the trial. So it's a 14-day trial. All right. So they have all the rides in one place. Or you can subdivide them with Mike's Picks, New, Camps, Climb Ready, Easy, Favorites, Group Ride, Hilly, Long, Loop, Mountain, or Race. I kind of want to do a mountain because we don't have many hills here in Wisconsin. So it's kind of fun to try these, these hills. But I don't know if I want to pedal that hard. So... I think I got it! Ah, oh, I figured it out! I don't think my screen recording was working when I started full gas. So I might have to do another recording to kind of show you how that gets going and set up. A couple things, I will say the setup process on the iPad was stupid easy. Just very, very effortless. Download the app, plug in a username and a password. It doesn't ask you for a credit card or anything. Um, wake up your trainer, tell it you want Bluetooth, and off you go. And I should probably just turn Zwift off and focus on full gas so I'm not distracted. So that's what I'm going to do for the second half of this ride. I think if I, oh, you change your weight in the settings, it's about the only thing that I messed with in settings. And then, uh, video I do think this is kind of cool like if I, so if I stop pedaling it knows and it slows down the video so you see the acceleration of the rider die off and it takes longer than Zwift uh, not too much longer but a little bit longer than Zwift. well we're still going on that's interesting I wonder if it'll stop all the way Now you pause it like a video, so that part's easier. You know, Zwift is a couple clicks, unless you're using the mobile app. It's kind of not very obvious how to pause it. 
Okay, we finally stopped up there. It's probably twice as long as it takes to stop in Zwift is when I stopped, at least visually. Let me get going again. And so, so I start pedaling. I don't have to mess with the screen or anything. It just picks it up, figures out I'm pedaling, and off I go. on that original course. Now I switch to this Criterium. Clearly a Cat 5 race, based on that number placement. <laughs> and they have these headbands on. I don't know, maybe somebody like me must be if you're A grade or B grade, you wear a certain flag or headband on you. It's interesting, we're seeing that, so, okay. Now let's see if I go faster, if it makes a difference. Of course it will not. Nope. All right, let's go slow. See if that makes a difference. And of course it will not. I didn't actually like the, uh, oh dear lord. I didn't actually like the uh, uh, racing very much. It just wasn't, it wasn't pretty and it wasn't interactive. So I guess if I'm not gonna have interactive, I'm gonna go with pretty. So I switched to Canada and uh, we'll check out this elevation profile, long and steady. And the way I'm feeling right now, I know I'm not gonna finish this, but whatever. Okay. All right, I didn't last long on that one. So I'm throwing in a towel. So overall, that was a, a pretty terrible workout because I didn't really do much of anything. So that sucks, but whatever. You're going to have those days. I don't necessarily blame full gas for that. I blame my motivation and my decision to clean the garage for a few hours earlier today instead of riding first and then doing stuff like that, such as life. I have two beers in the garage. I'm very much looking forward to having them. So, I think I'm going to let the uh, full gas experience marinate in my head for a few hours, and then I'll jump on editing and give my thoughts. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. For right now, I'm going to go. I did not have beers. I'm back. And here's why. I went upstairs, and I felt like I didn't really work out. I didn't really feel like working out. But how much of that was because of full gas not being the experience I want it to be perhaps uh, versus whatever I feel like about Zwift so I thought well there's no better apples to apples than if I'm not feeling like it go back downstairs throw your shoes back on and see if you get re-motivated so I'm not gonna do a workout I'm just doing a regular ride on Zwift just fired it back up and uh, you know, no expectations for what I'm trying to accomplish here. It's just, if I feel like riding, I'll ride. If I feel like going upstairs to get the beer, I'll get the beer. But I'm just curious if Zwift can suck me back in to getting some sort of reasonable workout. I have no family pressure to be done working out. There's no reason I shouldn't be doing it. So, curious. Very curious. Since you've been gone. Action. I got a couple ride-ons as soon as I started. I look at the names over there, seeing if I know my friends or people I've ridden with in the past on Zwift. It just really delivers the social feel. If I slow down, my guy slows down. If I speed up, my guy speeds up. Go for it. I would go and get myself. Nobody else yeah. doing it. So here, our accelerator. Here's that. From about my uh, minute eight to eighteen, I didn't notice the time. So almost half the ride. I really consciously was not paying any attention to the ride. So I think that's the goal, friends. That's the goal. Okay, it's the next day. I am not using 
full gas, and then back to my Zwift. All right, not to say I'm over the moon about Zwift. I really like Zwift, but there are definitely some bugs. So currently I'm going 294 watts, 25 miles an hour. There's just one problem with that. I'm actually not pedaling. So there's my little guy. Yep. I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. All right, let's wrap up with full gas. Things I liked. Great video quality. I mean, really, really good. Uh, lots of routes to choose from. Probably didn't like always racing with Cat 5s. Anyway, uh, cost effective. I think uh, pricing is right. Smart Trainer does a nice job controlling the trainer. Feels realistic. Responds pretty quickly. Uh, and it's a super easy setup to get connected. And again, the realistic video is, is really cool and refreshing to see. That's for sure. And apparently great customer service from things I've seen looking around online. So that's nice too. Things I didn't like. It's not social. There's no interactive racing. There's no other people. There's no write-ons. There's, there's just completely missing on that. Um, and social is questionable, but on Zwift, you could choose to not be social. But it's just nice to have the option either way. Some questionable integration. My Training Peaks ride showed up the next day. So uh, I'm not sure how that worked out. No real racing, like I mentioned, so no leagues, no points, no no culture around the racing. It's not doesn't seem to be aware of my FTP in any sense, so I'm not sure how to control that. And there's really no personality to the app. Not really sure what their brand direction is or what space they're trying to occupy. So that's an easy fix, uh, but it left me kind of wondering. So Thanks for checking out the channel today. I appreciate it. If you get a chance, please like, subscribe, or comment on this video. If you like what I had to say today, do those things. If you don't like what I had to say today, bye-bye.